Hi, my name is Susanna Block, and I'm a pediatric hospitalist at Swedish Medical Center and I'm here to talk with you about RSV infections. RSV is a wintertime virus and it's one of the many viruses that cause bronchiolitis, which is an infection in the lower respiratory tract of children under the age of two. RSV is a seasonal virus and we tend to see it from November to April, but it peaks in January and February and we certainly have been seeing some cases of RSV infections this year already. Some of the symptoms of RSV are fevers, cough, wheezing or breathing difficulties, lots and lots of nasal secretions. Some babies have difficulty with eating and have a decreased urine output. Babies under the age of two months old and premature babies can present with just apnea or pauses in their respirations with RSV bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis for children under the age of two years old um, has all those symptoms, but children over the age of two can also get RSV, or RSV but for them it's more cold-like symptoms. Adults can get RSV as well and for them it's cold-like symptoms also. RSV infections are spread through droplet transmission, so coughs and sneezes are a very effective way of spreading RSV. RSV can also stay on your hands for several hours and can be spread that way, so hand washing is extremely important. Um, RSV tends to last for about a week or 10 days, and you know that your child's ready to go back to daycare when their symptoms have entirely resolved. Unfortunately, because RSV is a is a virus, antibiotics don't help. So the treatment is primarily um, supportive care. You can give um, Tylenol or Motrin for fevers, encourage fluids, and help your baby by bulb suctioning their nose if they're congested. You know that it's time to seek medical attention if your baby is having difficulty with breathing, fast or, rap or rapid respirations or any respiratory distress, if they have any apnea or pauses in their breathing, or if you feel that they're not eating and drinking well enough to maintain their hydration. Um, the best way to prevent RSV infections are one, to avoid cigarette smoke exposure, two, uh, hand washing with soap and water is helpful, and then finally to avoid anybody who is uh, sick with a cold. If you have any questions, um, it's best to seek medical attention with your primary care physician, or if it is after hours, you can come to the Pediatric Emergency Department at Swedish Medical Center. Thank you.